dominance. Incomplete dominance when happens when you have an intermediate phenotype. So your classic example of this is when you get a red flower and a white flower and you mix them together and you get a pink flower. If the technical word that you need to use on your test is an intermediate phenotype. So a physical appearance that is halfway in between the appearance for either the homozygous recessive or the homozygous dominant. get that intermediate one because they are partially expressed. That's important because co-dominance also has an intermediate phenotype. But it has an intermediate phenotype for a different reason. Co-dominance has an intermediate phenotype because it's expressed simultaneously. It's the difference between having a pink flower and having a red and white spotted flower. You get the difference? This one is blended. Incomplete dominance is always blended. Your examples normally are going to be about plants for incomplete dominance because in humans we don't have that many genes that are incompletely dominant. But we do have a whole bunch of genes that are co-dominant. Basically, anytime you have a trait that has a whole bunch of different um, variations to it, you end up with co-dominance. are easy because they're the same. Because your phenotype has an intermediate phenotype, it means that your ratio for your phenotype and your ratio for your genotype are going to be the same. So one last thing to memorize. So when you see a 1 to 2 to 1 phenotype, you automatically know it's going to be incomplete dominant. So co-dominance, both both um, traits are expressed, and why why is blood type an example? I understand the horse example because one side is going to be spotted and the other side is going to be huh? brown, for instance. Why why is blood type an example of co-dominance? No, she's she's just ex she just said that blood type. Which blood type? She has two examples. It says blood type is usually only spots and horses, so that they all should be assumed that as their own is an example of co-dominance. Blood type. So you would blood type. type you would have. Um, two different types. I think they have parents. If you want to press play and then Mark will get back to you. That's at the beginning. Your co-dominance, it only happens in heterozygous. Yeah. But when would a phenotypic ratio? There's no way that phenotypic ratio would be one to one for A A A A. For A A. Oh, actually, hold on.
Hit the play button real quick. It's not a blend. Yeah, You're threatening things by speaking. Pause, it. pause. You see it? For AA, big, um, let's do it. That's called incomplete dummy. Let's do it. Oh, incomplete dummy. Let's do it real quick. One to one genotype. Well, it's one to one because it's one to one. That's the genotype. Okay. No, but here she put one to one phenotype. Phenotype. Why? I mean, I would say that's not the three to one. Because dummy, dummy, dummy. What did she say about two zero I? 